guys. Um, sorry there wasn't a plan with me last week. Unfortunately, my wonderful Nikon, um, camera that I'd had for a little over six years, um, broke. Uh, fortunately, I was able to pick up a new camera, um, a Fuji film, in case you guys are interested. Um, I was actually able to get it for only $80, um, at Kmart because it was on a clearance out section. Um, so fortunately... We're back again this week with a plan with me. This is my Plum Paper Horizontal Planner, of course. And we're planning for the last full week of August. So, the washi tapes I'll be using are this pink one from Scotch. This kind of watercolor flowery one, also from Scotch. And then this one that's just thin with gold dots from Joanne. Um, the stickers I'm going to use are these gorgeous butterfly stickers from Dollar Tree. The pens, as always, I'll show you one. Um, these are $4.99 um, Recollections pens. They come with a set of 20. You can get them at Michael's. Um, if I use any whiteout, it will be this brand white out, but as you can see, I have not pre-planned anything. Um, the reason why being that this is the first week in my whole new term. So, I don't know what anything is going to be going on except for my basic class schedule. But I always wait to write in the class times and everything until we do this video, of course. So, alright, um, now I'm going to speed things up, put some music to it, um, but when I get to the actual writing things in, I might slow things down. Um, the only thing else I can think of is, I did decide what I'm going to do is use this first notes page in September for breaking down my course information since we really only have a week and a day in August. So I will show you how I'm going to do that um, before the information gets plugged in. Um, okay. So, keep watching. Thank you.
first time I've used this camera to film, so I, I guess I need to be careful about how long my video is getting. Okay guys, sorry my camera keeps like seeming to cut out at spots. Again, I'm not used to using it for recording video footage. I guess i got to read through the manual and see what the time limit on videos is. Um, my Nikon didn't really seem to have a time limit for the most part. So Anyway, we're on the September notes page. I'm going to go ahead and get that set up for the next term. So I'm just going to take and run some of this pretty washi across. Oh dear, I hate wrinkles, but this is the washi that once you put it down, you aren't getting that up. And I couldn't find my manicure scissors, so I'm using these ones, which is why the cutting was not quite as pretty. Alright. Oh dear, it seems I nicked my beautiful paper too. Yeah, I never really can tell. Alright, and loving these butterflies, they are so pretty. So pretty. So I'm gonna put a butterfly right there. there. Okay. So what I do is normally I would put instructor con contact information and I would be including my class instructor. But this term we're going to be having the same instructor as we had for the previous term when we had OB. So I'm only going to put clinical instructor. I don't know which one I'm going to have, but I'm going to leave space in case I have more than one because that does happen sometimes. Then I'm going to put clinical site, because there is more than one this term, and I'll want to make a note of which one I'm going to so that I know um, whether I need to plan to bring my lunch, plan to buy my lunch, where I'm driving to, um, one of the sites that we have I haven't been to before, if it was just the one that we've been to before, I wouldn't bother writing this down, but that's it. Um, I know from last time my instructor is not going to go over the chapters we need to read um, at the beginning of the term, she's going to do unit by unit. Otherwise, if it was one that did do it all at the beginning, I would write it down under reading. So, clinical instructor, clinical site. Um, this class, I'm not sure if there are going to be any projects, but um, I mean, I know that there will be two, for instance, um, so I can put projects actually. And what I do here is I mark it off like a checklist, but I also put the due date. That way I can mark it on my weekly calendar later. So I know for sure that we're going to have concept map one, concept map two, and a case study. And then I'll just leave some extra space in case we get assigned a paper. But usually that's the only projects. Sometimes we have. add in some. Okay. And then I usually also make a column for tests. And there I will, when, the, when she goes over how many tests there will be, I will bullet one for each one. And when she tells us when the date is going to be, I'm going to put it in there, and then I'll check it off when the test is complete. I also will put mark it on my regular calendar. This is just the method to my madness, guys. I know. And um, and really for this term, that's probably all I'm going to put. Um, again, for other terms, I've put reading, I've put, um, oh, what have, oh, actually, you know what, there is something else I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put down Kaplan because I totally forgot that. We always have, um, Kaplan focused reviews we have to do, as well as, um, 50 questions each week. So first I'm just going to put 50 
questions a week. And then um, once we're added into the class or once the teacher tells us um, what sections that we need to take our questions from and what focus reviews we need to do, then I'll add the rest of this list. The other one I need to make a list for, I don't want to do this because I can make the bullets for these tests. At most, there's going to be four or five tests. So let me see, I've got one, two, three, four, leave a space, leave a space, okay. And then there are always Saunders questions. Saunders is just our NCLEX prep, and we also have 50 questions a week. Um, this term is endocrine, but I'm not sure what categories from Saunders we'll need to choose, so that's going to be there. Um, let me see if I can think of anything else. No, that's actually it. And, yep, yep, that's the whole kit and caboodle. So that's just how I set up at the beginning of each term one of my notes pages to just give me information just related to that term. Again, our terms are about five weeks, so they usually last only about a month. Um, I actually have this term and then two more terms and I am done knock on wood so that'll be interesting um, let me go ahead and show you what I ended up doing for the layout just in case you missed something okay I just used the gold dot washi to divide I used the watercolor washi there pink and I used my butterfly stickers and then I added everything in um, this, I'm doing it a little differently this term. I'm using a different color purple for my class and clinical combined. I'm just annotating which one it is. Um, that way, if I want, I can use the dark purple for personal appointments for outside class. Um, pink, of course, is for my daughter. Um, green is for her brother. Brown is for th their older brother. Um... Because of, we've also had recent car expenses, I just haven't had money to be printing off stickers. So I drew what I hope looks like a football, but kind of looks like a potato to me. I'm not sure. And I wrote in the Steeler game for this week. It's still preseason, but I do want to get stickers printed out before the real season starts. Um, I will chart my water along here, but I will do that day by day. Um, again, I really don't know what my to-dos will end up being for next week. Um, because this week isn't really over yet, so I did get a lot done last week, so I love this planner. Um, I always, it always keeps me just so organized. I always get, get almost everything done, you know, some weeks are better than others, but it keeps me on track, keeps me knowing what I've got to do because I use it. Um, alright, so... Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!